Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about our recent paper network, a flexible deep embedding approach for anomaly detection in dynamic networks. Massive and dynamic networks arise in many practical applications, such as social media, security, and public health. Here are the examples from different domains. Recently, Network embedding has proven to be a powerful tool in learning the low-dimensional representations of vertices in networks that can capture and preserve the network structure, which makes it particularly suitable for anomaly detection tasks. For example, vertices staying far away from the majority cluster in the latent space will very likely indicate certain types of anomalies which can be detected through clustering algorithms. Here is another example for edge anomaly detection. However, existing methods for network embedding cannot update the representation dynamically as new vertices or edges keep feeding. So this is a demo of a dynamic case. Therefore, we propose network for anomaly detection by learning network representations, which can be updated dynamically. This figure shows an illustrative diagram of the anomaly detection pipeline in dynamic networks. Firstly, we learn the latent network representations by using a number of works extracted from this initial network. And then the representations are obtained with click embedding which we will talk about in the next slide. In addition, the learned representation can be easily updated over dynamic changes by using a reservoir sampling strategy. Lastly, the dynamic clustering model is used to flag the anomalies based on the learned representations. Inspired by the Skibbergram architecture, we propose a network embedding algorithm which includes two main constraints. The first one is click constraint, which serves as a local constraint. It is trying to preserve the locality property. And the second one is the autoencoder constraint, which serves as a global constraint. It minimizes the reconstruction error of the outputs. This slide describes how the network representations learned by network are dynamically updated upon changes of the network. Here is an illustration of updating the reservoirs for each vertex. And this is the dynamic embedding results. Figure A shows the initial embedding with 50% edges. Figure B and C shows the online embedding results with additional edges. The network representation learned by our model can be beneficial for lots of downstream applications, such as link prediction, anomaly detection, and community detection. In our paper, we focus on anomaly detection. If you are interested in further details, please read our paper.